guys welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash today it's all about tart blushes i have so many tart blushes new to my stash that i cannot wait to cheek swatch for you guys if you guys follow me on instagram then you know i uploaded an instagram reel where i arm swatched some of these new blushes that landed in my stash a few days ago i also brought that reel over as a youtube short so i'll have it linked in the description box in case you want to check it out i don't plan on doing any arm swatches in today's video we're really going to focus on just how these blushes apply to the cheeks and i also want to compare uh, a couple of these new Tarte blushes to the new Charlotte Tilbury blush wands that also recently dropped. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I told you guys kind of at the beginning of the year that I really want to play up blush this year. I want to do more blush than I do bronzer. And I want to kind of keep my bronzer to the forehead, to the nose, maybe a little bit on the jawline, and that's it. I really want to the blush to be the focal point when it comes to the cheekbones. So I'm super excited for today's video and if it is your first time here on my channel I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see new makeup reviews here on my channel. That is the primary content. I also do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos. If all of that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis, I upload a lot of videos. Do me a favor, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you're a fan of blush maybe you're a fan of tart and you just want to see what the fuss is all about give this video a thumbs up before you go I will have everything that I'm wearing which I did film this look if this look isn't already live it will be live after this video goes live and this is pretty much a full face of a LA girl makeup but I'll have everything linked in the description box and some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them. Thank you so very much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get this swatch party started. If y'all want to see these new Tarte blushes in action, keep on watching. Now I want to start first with the most recent blush drop from Tarte and it is these little beauties right here. This is their new blush tape. It comes in three different shades and you also get a brush. Right now you can only find these on the QVC website and the little bundle like this retails for $35. I picked up shades pink and peach. Now this is going to be a glowy blush that's supposed to give the cheekbones a lifted appearance. It's also formulated with shea butter. So let's give these a good shake. It says that this is going to be a buildable formula as well. Now what does this remind you of? I think it kind of reminds me of Miss Charlotte over here. Charlotte is a matte formula and this is going to be a glowy blush formula. So you do have the option just to turn it down here, turn it on, turn it off. Mine is on. We're going to start first. This is a peach one, I believe. Yeah. And I'm going to try using the blood, the brush that it came with. So we'll start first with that. And here is the brush. I do like Tarte brushes, but the ones I've gotten more recently have just been eh, okay. I don't know that I'm liking this brush for this blush. Okay, so I see more glow than I actually see pigment. I'm going to add some more. It does say that these are buildable. I want to switch brushes. I'm going to switch now to my BK109 brush. This is a fantastic uh, brush for liquid and cream products. Are you seeing peach? I am seeing highlight. And that's not really what I wanted. I was looking for a blush. I, I don't see the peach. I don't see the peach. Let me shake it up one more time. So that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's a very, very light. Add a little bit more. I feel like this is more of a highlight than a blush for sure. So yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, we're gonna try the pink one. We'll try it on the other cheek, but I'm not 
I'm seeing highlight. I'm not seeing color. Oh man. Okay. All right. Well, hey, this is what this video is for, for us to try these out and see what kind of payoff we're going to get. I have three others that hopefully will work a little bit better. Same thing here. This is the pink one. I'm going to use the brush that it came with. Okay, I can see pink here, but I'm seeing more highlight than I am blush. Like these are reminding me of the Charlotte Tilbury highlight ones. Is that what they're called? Or glow ones? They can totally see that. I have one shade. I think I have Pillow Talk. So I guess you can see a faint bit of color like you can tell this is pink versus this side that's peach but I don't know that I'm seeing enough enough of the pink you know what I'm saying like to me these are just highlighters or blush toppers now I kind of wish I had gotten the deepest shade which was berry uh Ooh, I don't know that I would continue to use these as blushes. I would most definitely utilize them as highlight because I think that that's what they're giving off more is a highlight rather than like I can see the pink more than I can see the peach, you know, and I think they look prettier as a highlight. Hmm, a little bit disappointed. Not with a formula, just with the pigmentation. And I think I would have maybe not called these blush tape. I maybe would have called it highlight tape or something like that because I feel more highlight vibes than I do blush vibes. So I'm gonna remove these and then we're gonna start swatching the next two liquid blushes. Now, before I start swatching the other uh, blushes that I have, I wanted to show you these quick comparisons to Charlotte Tilbury blush wand. So this is the pink blush wand. Is it pink or is it pillow talk? I think this, is, this one is called pink pop. Um, yeah, this is pink pop. And then this is the pink shade in the Tarte. These are matte blushes from Charlotte. And then this is a glowy blush from Tarte. Over here we have, I believe it's called Peach Pop. Yes, so we have Peach Pop and then the shade Peach in Tarte. I actually think these would be great complements to one another. So maybe you're unable to get the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlight wand or whatever it is. Maybe your shade is just always sold out because I know those products sell out really quick. This is actually a little bit cheaper because it comes in at $35 um, and you do get a brush with it versus the Charlotte Tilbury, which I think is like $42 or $45. I want to say the Charlotte Tilbury blushes are $42 and then the Tarte are $35. But look at how nice... Of companions those would make. I mean, especially after they dry down, the Charlotte is going to be matte, and then of course, uh, Tarte is going to be glowy. Just wanted to show you that really quick. Uh, maybe that's something, depending on where we end up in the video, maybe I can do that application um, towards the end and just wear them together and see what kind of uh, longevity we get out of them. But the next one that I want to try out, this one is really interesting. This one is the Tarte C Glow Light. And there are three different shades in this one. I think this is also like $30 or $35. They're all in that price range. The shade that I got in this one is called Sun Flush. I got this directly from the Tarte website, but it is available at Sephora. The Tarte C line is only available at Sephora. It's not available at Ulta. Now this does say it could be used for lip and cheek. To me, this is going to be more, they say it's a natural finish, but when I was swatching it on my arm, it seemed more of a matte finish. And I am going to go in with a very little, that could actually be too much. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty blush brush, or cream blush brush to kind of press this in. I'm actually going to take some off on the back of my hand. And I'll remove the lipstick and gloss that I have on right now just so we can try this out. Now, I did not set this area of my face. I'm wearing the LA Girl, uh, what is it, Pro Coverage Foundation. 
once again this makeup that I'm wearing if it's not up already it will be up it's an LA girl video I like that okay see I can see this blush I can see the pink the red in here and you only need a little bit obviously if you want more payoff than this which I think I do I think I want to add a little bit more you can layer it yeah that's definitely definitely bright I wouldn't say it's as glowy though I wouldn't say it's nearly as glowy as the ones uh, the blush blush shape what we just took off I think if you're looking for something a bit more pigmented uh, liquid blush as well these might be right up your alley they have three shades and I believe all three shades are really really intense really bright like this but you can see that it is easily sheared out you can blend it really well too I like that and then you can just take your damp sponge and just press over Mm -hmm. I like that. You know what? Let's try. Let's get the pink blush tape. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to use my AOA F19. Oh, yeah. That is, this is a highlighter. They're highlighters, not blushes, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. I always just, after I do my highlighter, add a little bit more of the blush just to blend everything. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Once again, this shade right here that I have in the glow light is called Sunflush. And there are three different shades, I believe in this one. Okay, I think it paired perfectly with that. Let's move over to the left side. And this is a blush that's been out for a little bit. I just never tried it. But some of you had mentioned when I uploaded that YouTube short that you'd really been enjoying this. This is also going to be one to give like that lifted effect to the cheekbone. Um, this is the Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. And it's uh, the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. I have the shade Coral in this one. Another doe foot applicator. So we're going to put that here. Here. And I'm going to use my BK 112. Okay, I am really seeing the payoff with this one as well. These, I want to say, there's like six or seven different shades to choose from. I like that. It's a soft flush of color. This is also going to be uh, more of like a glowy natural finish. None of the ones I have here are going to provide a matte finish. I would say the closest one to the matte finish is actually Glow Light over here. And that's what I noticed when I was watching them for that little Instagram reel and YouTube short. I love this color. This color is so pretty. That's nice. I think this might be my favorite one so far. I don't know how long ago these uh, this Man Eater liquid blush came out. I feel like it's been out for a few months now. Maybe it's been out longer and I just never noticed. But I like it. Now what I want to do is I want to get the peach blush tape. And let's use that as a highlighter now for this one. I'm going to go back in with the F19. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really pretty. So this is gonna be a nice alternative to those from Charlotte Tilbury. I definitely think these are more highlighters or blush toppers, more so than they are actual blushes. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the name blush tape. I definitely think these are gonna be more just highlighters. And I think these are gonna pair perfectly with just about any liquid or cream blush that you wanna go in with. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the blush in shade Coral just to blend it with the highlight. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so I think, yeah, definitely. I'm loving these blush tapes a lot more as highlighters than I am actual blushes. So the glow light 
I definitely see the pink, but you can tone it down. Don't be intimidated by how uh, deep this shade looks. It's actually not. It's just a small amount will go a long way, and then you can build it up as you go. Um, and then the same thing with the Man Eater. It's just such a beautiful, natural finish. I definitely think this is more natural satin finish, and I feel like I'm getting more of a semi-matte finish from the glow light. Uh, we have, how many more do we have? We have one more. Okay, this is gonna be really interesting because this is also a lip and cheek product. And I think instead of trying this one on the lips, I'm gonna wanna try this one on the lips and on the cheeks. This is the Maracuja Juicy Shift. And these are all different colors. The color I have here is called Kiwi. They had orange, they had purple, they had pink. They had so many different colors and it's not not going to be green. Don't worry. You're not putting green blush on your face. This is going to adjust to your pH levels and it's going to change to a nice flush of color. So we'll see what that is. I'm going to remove both sides and then I'll come back and we'll start playing with this one. All right. So now let's go in with this one. I've been so curious about this. I'm almost afraid that it's going to mess with the foundation. Like it feels like you're, wow. Wow, it feels like it's a gloss. Wow. Okay, when I swatched this on my arm, it came out clear and then it took me blending it uh, to become a soft wash of color. I'm gonna try just using my finger with this one. Wow. It's almost like you don't know which color you're gonna get. That's so cool. Like, this is fun. <laughs> This is fun. I wouldn't mind picking up another one of these, but I want to take a closer look to see what it's doing to the foundation, especially because I didn't set the foundation. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let me get my beauty sponge. Kind of just press over that. Now I want to try, I'm going to try using a brush. Make a little bit more. Go back in with the BK109. I am cleaning them off in between shades. Oh wow, with the brush, it really adds, wow, this is pigment. Who would have thought like the clear green would be the one that gives off the most pigment? Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to be curious to see how this sets because it feels it feels like a gloss let me take a closer look at it well i don't see it it didn't lift the foundation wow that's cool that's really cool okay i'm gonna take off my lipstick i'm wearing one from elf now i'm wearing a juvia's place lip gloss all right now let's apply this to the lips awesome that's so cool you can kind of see right here maybe that's going to be the indicator as to the color i want to say these were like 27 dollars. this was the least expensive oh i like that i like that a lot i think this one could be my favorite and this is the one i thought was going to be a little too awkward but you can even, you even get that glow from it to where you almost don't even need a highlighter. Wow. It feels tacky. Yeah, it still feels tacky. That's interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to wear test this one for sure. And I'm not going to add like any highlighter or anything to it. And I want to wear test... I don't see a point in wear testing the blush tape because I'm not going to be using this as blush. This is definitely something that I'm going to be using as a highlighter just because, you know, it, it shows up better on me anyway as a highlighter. So um, since the Glow Light is the newest product, the Man Eater has been around already for a while. I'm going to uh, wear test this one against this one. So let me reapply. 
I'm going to go in with the pink blush tape as highlighter. Okay, guys, so I am loving the way the complexion looks. Who would have thought we could get this type of a glow and this type of pigment from a green, like, lip gloss this is the maracuja juicy lip and cheek shift this one is in the shade kiwi i'm loving it i think it looks so so cool this is one of those products that's going to develop according to your ph levels i think it is a really cute concept and that is what i'm wearing uh, on my lips i will say it's kind of drying down already it's um it's still a bit tacky on my cheekbone but not as tacky as it was when I initially applied it. Over here, we're trying the new Glow Light in Sun Flush. I think this is definitely more natural to like satin finish. I get a little bit more mattifying effect from this one out of all of them. And then, of course, I went in with the pink tape or pink blush tape uh, as a highlighter and I think definitely don't pick these up uh, if you're going to be in thinking that they're going to be blushes. I think these are definitely going to be more intended as uh, just blush toppers or highlighters because I think it looks stunning as a highlighter versus a blush. As far as the man eater uh, blush and glow goes, I like this one and I like the shade Coral. I might want to pick up a couple more of these. I'm very curious about them, but I'm also just as curious about these little maracuja uh, juicy lip and cheek shifts. I think it's so cool. I'm loving all of the new Tarte products that have come out. They have a new foundation that is coming out, which uh, is, I think, on the way to me already. So I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to be trying out all these new Tarte goodies. I definitely want to do, like, uh, once I get that foundation in, I want to do, of course, a wear test with that foundation, but I also want to do, like, a just trying new Tarte makeup type of video, uh, full face of new and well-loved Tarte products that are currently in my stash. So definitely let me know if that is something that you would like to watch something that you'd like to see but also let me know what you think of all these blushes which one appealed to you guys the most uh, I will see if I can post uh, like a quick little check-in before I wrap up this video hey guys I just wanted to do this quick check-in to show you guys how the blushes are wearing it's been six hours this is the maracuja juicy lip and cheek tint and this is what's left of it on my lips and then this is the man eater with the new blush wand I mean, they're both still on. They're both still vibrant. I definitely need to blot, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Six hours of wear. There is definitely a lot of pigment. It still feels a little bit tacky, obviously, because it's a liquid blush, but you know what? The longevity is there and it is still super pigmented six hours later. But uh, right now, first impressions, I love everything. I love all of these new blushes. I think for me personally, here in my stash, this is definitely the year of the blush. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.